everybody, and welcome to another special episode of Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. The epic 25th anniversary. Or 25th episode, we'll say. Not really 25th anniversary. God forbid we last 25 years. But this is Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I am Wilson. I am the bird. And today we're doing something sort of different, sort of the same. We'll start off by saying we are reviewing the Absorbing Man uh, Build-A-Figure from the latest Marvel, Marvel Legends Spider-Man Wave. Spider-Man Wave, there which, you go. Which makes no sense yeah. to me. Because please someone write in or give me an idea of when Absorbing Man fought Spider-Man the last time ever. Especially, well, he's got 60s pants. Yeah. So this is him. <laughs> in his 60s pants. In his 60s pants, and he's got his giant wrecking ball. Uh, was he part of the wrecking crew? Or? He is not part of the wrecking okay. crew. But this is the same exact wrecking ball that you get with two or three or four of the wrecking crew members because Hasbro does that. And I thought it looked familiar. Thank you. It might not look too familiar because this is the only one without any paint apps. So it sucks <laughs> compared to the other ones. Thanks, Hasbro. Save some more money. But they put all that effort into the arms, it would seem. It would, but had they put the paint on like the other ones, his arm and hand would look perfect for the <laughs> absorbing man <laughs> yep. to go with the ball and chain as opposed to those don't look anything alike. Yeah, at the moment, it, sh it should just be plastic, man. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> anyway, uh, here he is. And he, I think... Is awesome. He's quite big. He was a lot bigger when I put him together than I thought he'd be. Uh, I don't know why that surprised me, considering he's a build a figure. Uh, but honestly, I really haven't put many build a figures together. The only sure. ones I've done are the um, Hulkbuster Iron Man, who's huge. Who, yeah, who was already like gigantic, and I think uh, that may have been the only no, one. No, Goblin. Oh, on. and Hobgoblin, who's just a regular size dude. So, sure. yeah, I wasn't really expecting, I was kind of surprised. So, yeah. I, I was also surprised at how big he is uh, until I put him next to uh, some other Marvel Legends. Mm. Uh, especially the newer Marvel Legends. Old ones, he towers over most of them. Mm -hmm. And previous Absorbing Mans, he towers over them. Yeah, and sculpt-wise, you know, he looks... Uh, he looks pretty good. Um, his he's got <clears throat> he comes with different arms and stuff. I I was I'm really a big fan of the element. I'm gonna the say ele yeah, the elemental uh, looking arms. Yeah. The wood one looks great. Yeah, that, I, I, the sculpt on the wood one looks phenomenal. Um, the stone one looks pretty good. Yeah. The paint on this arm, just kind of how that's like sprayed on, and then the face here. Uh, looks really, really good yeah. as well. Um, yeah, you can choose your heads or your yeah. arms. Uh, mix and match, that's cool. Um, totally dig both head sculpts for some reason. It's just both of Scream absorbing See, to me. I, I only like this one. This one, Sloth from Goonies. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far this as. This one at least is looking straight. I will give you that. Yes, it doesn't have the the Marvel Legends lazy eye uh, syndrome. Um, as for the pants and the legs, Shakana trademark 2016. Uh, it seems to like he's got like the lines on his pants don't like they go around and then they don't match up on yeah. the next side. Uh, however, they applied those labels or stickers or the, however they did. Paint. Is it actual paint? Yes, but it's. It's paint. Perfect. Yeah, it's paint. It's paint. Well, how does it look like a stri like an actual stripe sticker, like wrapped around, kind of? Because they did a shitty job of painting it. Wow. It's only on the one leg. Yeah. yeah. So, but. That's, yeah. Well, that's what you get, I guess. That's kind of typical. At least it's in the butt and the back. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine. Yeah, the belt buckle, it's got some paint splash. Yours looks worse than mine does. Yeah. Here. Um, 
And other than that, yeah, that's his his upper half is where it's at. <laughs> uh, luckily, you're not gonna. I don't think you're gonna be paying much attention to his pants and stuff. I was actually surprised that his upper. When I heard they were doing him, I was surprised his upper torso is a whole new scope. I figured for sure, since they reused the Wrecking Crew body for all of them, and he's gonna and he's the same size that they would just use his body uh-huh. or his at least upper torso. But no, they sculpted a whole new thing and. Thank you, Hasbro, for putting some money into that. that yeah. I think it looks great. I love the sculpt. Yeah. I wish they were sculpted in his chest. They have a weird rib cage area it's sunken in that kind of bugs me. Mm. Uh, and yeah, his only accessory, unless you count the other Marvel Legend figure he comes with, <laughs> is this uh, aforementioned wrecking ball. Or I guess the other hand. And yeah, he's got all the typical uh, current. Hasbro Marvel Legends articulation, head, you know, ball joint, head, shoulders, biceps, uh, elbows, wrists, got awesome ab crunch, super yeah. good range on that, uh, waist, ball joint, hips. I love, yeah, the, the hips here are, are, to me at least, new for Marvel Legends, how they're ball joint here. I don't know if that is that just unique because it's a build a it's, figure. It's just unique of the scope that you're able to see it that much. Okay. Most of them are like, like that. that. But the, okay. The, but it's the scope really shows it off. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, the one thing I don't like about his articulation is his he has giant work boots and his pants are sculpted, so you don't get a lot of front and back movement with his foot, so you can't do a lot of deeper stances yeah. that you can with some of the other guys. It's an issue with a couple of their figures. Uh, a lot of the Hulks suffer from that because they have huge arches on the front of their feet. But uh, he is, he hits every spot I need to hit for an Absorber Man figure. The only thing I wish was that he had wider ears to look more like a Jack Kirby drawing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not an Absorbing Man um, fan. Uh, I don't know really anything about him that much. Uh, He's my two, third or fourth Marvel Legend scale Absorber Man. Really? And he's by far the best and my favorite. And yeah, he's. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 if it was like, if I didn't, there wasn't a majority of the figures that, in the wave that I wanted. I wouldn't have like gone seeking to build. I, I bought figures I did not want just to get absorbed. <laughs> yeah, see, I no, totally wouldn't have done that. I don't care about absorbing man. Yeah. He's a cool looking figure, but yeah, I just he doesn't. He's nothing special to me, really. He's he looks cool, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. He doesn't. I'm not I have the emotional ta- attachment, and yeah, I bought a bunch of Spidey characters. I I don't want a female beetle. No, I don't. <laughs> really? No, fuck her. I don't. <laughs> I got That's speed. the one I was looking for. <laughs> I didn't really want Speed Demon. It was nice that he came with a head, but f- Speed Demon. What? Okay. Why don't you give me a real Spider-Man villain instead of like, hey, I can't even make the Sinister 12. I'm the Sinister They're 12. the superior's foes. Yeah, great. Canceled. That was a good book. All right, Would so. Would you like to do some size comparisons? You know me. It's my favorite or, part of the show. Let's do it. So, here's... Who he sh- like a, a, a Thor wave? Because who does he fight ninety percent of the time? Thor or the Avengers? How do he fought Hulk. Hulk is an Avenger. Oh, founding founding member. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they look really really good together. Uh, totally what I would picture in my head size wise. Thor would look next. Absorbing man with the Thor. Very, very happy. Um, and these two with the Wrecking Crew looks amazing. It's just perfectly right out of a Jack Kirby Thor. Walt Simonson Thor. Love it. Uh, very, very happy. Uh, here he is next to another Marvel Legends build a figure. Terex the Tamer. Uh, <clears throat> looks pretty good. He actually is a little small in my head for what they should be, but still look pretty good. Here he is next to, uh, I'm trying, what was he called during this point? Hulk, Doc Brown, or Doc Green, or whatever, the terrible Mark Bagley, John Hulk. Uh, Don't know. 
So, yeah, Chris doesn't like to research, so that's I why. I don't. I don't like the Hulk either. I wouldn't know. So they, look, they don't look too bad together. Again, Hulk in my head is too small at this point, but you know, that is neither here nor there. What do you got, Chris? I got one of the best DC icon figures ever. Dead man. They look great together. And let's point out that these are both supposed to be in this six inch scale. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to they, even though Chris still doesn't believe it, they they are they are in the same scale class, size class. Yeah. They're supposed to be together, so Yeah. Thor says hi. Well awesome. Little girl they man. Awesome. So Thor is six six. He he he's five eleven, according to the uh, Marvel universe and who's who in the DC universe. Just so. Don't believe everything you read. Yes, don't <laughs> believe the source material from where you're getting the toy that you love so much. Uh, well, how about how's this look instead? Oh, uh, I think that looks great. Yeah. But again, that's a seven inch Batman and not. Well, maybe they made your build a figure too big. But he scales perfectly with the guys he's supposed to go with. What's that? that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, it's about to. <laughs> okay. So here's the, where we get to the special part of the episode. As you may or may not know, <clears throat> if you've a long-time viewer or even a semi-short-time viewer or know anything sort of about this show, especially me, you know I hate this part <laughs> of the show. Uh, I don't understand it. I sort of do. Um, I just don't like scale, and I don't care about scale. Uh, Berg is always getting on my ass about it, uh, saying how much it matters. I don't think it matters uh, that much. I don't understand why everybody gets worked up about it. <clears throat> so we're going to sit here and argue about it. Now would be the time, if you hate watching us arguing, to probably turn this off if you haven't but before... already. <laughs> My final thoughts on this guy okay. is four out of five hammers. He, yeah, he's cool. I give him three hammers out of five. Fair enough. Okay. <clears throat> totally worth tracking down all the guys to get him. Yeah, the the set, the wave of this the wave. is total awesome. Yeah, so yeah. I don't see, it's definitely a wave where it's worth picking up the one last guy to get yeah. him. Now, so I want to start first. Let us start. All right. In terms of scale, my biggest gripe starts with the Transformers argument. All right? Okay. I get extremely irritated when you go online and you see people arguing over, well, this guy should be this tall relative to that, and, oh, well, he transforms into this car, so he should be this big next to this car. Soundwave changes into a goddamn cassette player. And he should be how tall next? To, like, you can't make that argument, especially using Transformers when it comes to scale. It's a ridiculous argument. You have you have Broadside, who's a giant aircraft carrier, and he, like, you can't use these things that... And then you have people holding up pictures of cartoon uh, for cartoon images for reference those things were all f***ed up all the time ultra magnus picked up in constructicons slammed their faces together bruticus at one point was smaller than some of the regular guys so so the animators f that up so you can't even use that uh there's some official scale sheet out there that's the animators use for reference sure that's okay but in the end, that doesn't matter. I mean, who, in the end, who cares? Like, just as long as it's a cool looking toy and you got it, boom. I got Ironhide, I got Trailbreaker. If I want them sitting next to each other, that's fine. Look, I don't care. What's the matter? I don't care if, like, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand when the people are like, so, well, that, that I, Jeep is actually smaller can I, can than I that Jeep. Can I just ask you one question? Yeah. Right, just since you brought Trailbreaker out. Yeah. In every comic appearance yeah. and every cartoon appearance, yeah. when you see Trailbreaker yeah. next to Ironhide, yeah. he is as tall as Ironhide. 
Every single one. Sure. So it doesn't bother you in the least that when you get your Trailbreaker toy, who's from the same universe as your Iron High Toff, that they're not the same height. No, because that's the only Trailbreaker toy I've got right now. Okay. If they make a Masterpiece Trailbreaker, then fine. If that's the Masterpiece Trailbreaker, then then I'll sit next to him. I don't care. Okay, so but this is but this is masterpiece. That's Combiner Wars. But they're both Transformers. Yeah. So, what's your point? I, what's your point? I don't understand the argument. There isn't an argument. Exactly. Yeah. Episode over. It's not an argument for us. What most people want to know is when we're doing this segment. How big is this toy when I buy it? I understand that. That makes sense. This is what. Chris, people want to know, am I buying the Absorbing Man yeah. Build-A-Figure? Am I buying an Absorbing Man that's smaller than the I, that your cat takes? I want to <laughs> buy Absorbing Man. You know what would be fun, Chris? I want to have Absorbing Man fight Thor. And to you, this is not a problem. No. This is no problem. No, it would be hilarious to see on a shelf. But, but this isn't what... Why? Why? What? You, you wouldn't find this... this? The two of them fight, so, two, a so, big Absorbing Man and a so little Absorbing Man fighting Thor would be f***ing great. My displays are all about fun. I don't care if they're realistic How is or not. this not fun? That's fun, too. Like, you wouldn't have your but Transformers that has nothing fun. to do with sex. No, it doesn't. But why? I don't understand that's, why you would You're making two different arguments. Exactly. So. That's <laughs> why you're stupid. <laughs> you don't even know what you're arguing. It started with, again, my biggest gripe with the Transformers of people saying, Oh, well, you know, that toy, he doesn't look right because he really should be compared to... Compared right. to Optimus Prime, and everyone, when did fucking MP10 become the gold standard of how big because all, Transformers to compare to? Because everyone likes that one. But that, but see, you use that Transformers argument for all toys. Yeah. Well, that makes no sense. None of it makes any sense. Let's go with these guys. I only have a limited funds. Let's I am only into six-inch scale. Okay. All right, but. Who's this again? You lick your mom. You, you lick your mom. I'm a huge you lick your mom fan. They don't make a six inch you lick your mom, but I'll buy any you lick your mom toy. Fine. So I'll buy this guy. That's still not the argument we're having. But I'm bringing it up. Is so then you're like, well, who's he going to stand next to on the shelf? You're just going to have him by what? himself. So you're going to buy him. Yeah. And what are you going to do with him? What am I going to do have with him? Fight everybody. Which is fine. Yeah. No one's saying that's not fine. Or I'll stand him next to f***ing Metroplex. <laughs> Speaking of Metroplex, <laughs> this is also fine <laughs> in Wilson scale and, uh, and size comparisons. This is why you have no friends. Right here. This this entire argument. Let's let's say little Chris yeah. likes little Chris likes Star Wars. Yeah. And he got. And his favorite guy is Luke Skywalker. Okay. So he got a Luke Skywalker. Okay. Six inch Star Wars black. And he's happy. Yeah. And then, you know what his favorite scene in Star Wars is? Where Jedi Luke fights Darth Vader. Yeah. They have a lightsaber battle. And Lil' yeah. Chris is super happy. But I and, need Darth Vader. And you need Darth Vader. So yeah. what does your mom do for you? She goes and buys me a Darth Vader. Mom, and it's too you, small. Can you get me a Darth Vader? And mom comes home. With this super awesome, fantastic Darth Vader. I say, thanks, Mom. You bought me a toy. Thanks, I'm, Mom. I'm very grateful. You're great. I love you, Mom. And then your divorced dad goes, hey, Chris, you yeah. want to come over to Dad's house? Okay. Why do I want to go over to your dad? Mom just bought me this sweet, awesome Darth Vader, and I can fight and do perfect, awesome Star Wars stuff. Well, Chris, because you can get a Darth Vader. <gasps> That's actually bigger than Luke. Bigger than Luke, and looks exactly like real life people in the real life movie in your real life favorite scene. And you're telling me you'd rather have. And that now guy? I have two Darth Vader's. Thanks, mom and dad. Whose house do you want to play more at, Chris? Well, I don't get to choose that. Yeah, no. The courts choose on no, Tuesday. No, on court, Tuesday, I have the, to go the, and play with judge, six inch Darth Vader. The judge is telling you this. Yeah. Is, you've been doing this. 
for six months now, and the judge says, Chris, yeah. it's time for you to choose. You can go play with mom's Darth Vader and only mom's Darth Vader. Yeah. Or, because you have the option, you can play with dad's Darth Vader. Okay. Is dad hitting me? All you have are these three. Well, then, of course, I'm going to choose the bigger look, Darth Vader. Why? Because bigger is better. Is it? Or is it? Why is it better? Because anytime you get something bigger, it's better. So you'd rather have the bigger cancer in your lungs? Do you understand a little bit, a fraction? No, I totally understand why you're, what you're saying. It, it made sense when I figured it out in, was it Mega Man? The Mega Man review? Yeah. Yeah. It only took 18, 17 <laughs> episodes. Right. You're like, man, I really wish I could have Megatron fighting Optimus Prime. Yeah. I would too. Oh man, you know what my favorite scene is? What's that, Chris? When they're fighting in the Transformers yeah. movie, and Megatron's about to shoot Optimus Prime, and that <laughs> hot rod <laughs> comes out, and he says, I'll save you, Optimus Prime, and Optimus Prime goes, you son. <laughs> the size comparison, the part you hate, is not because we're saying these guys should be the same height. It's because we're saying I like to display my toys because I play with them and display them and fight them. And in my head, these guys don't look that good together. Mm -hmm. It's not that MP10, everyone has to be this small to him. You are correct. The MP10 argument is stupid as f Because from the first minute any of us have saw a Transformer, <laughs> Megatron fits in f Soundwave's hand and then gets thrown in fits in a human's hand. And also... Chris thinks this Hulk's okay with everybody because why would I want a Hulk bigger than anyone? That is a shitty toy, by the way. It looks like a shitty toy. Yeah, that, that what is... Happy Meal did you get him in? Well, that's what been... a stupid <laughs> fucking episode. <laughs> that's been it for this this twenty fifth special. We uh, hope you enjoyed it. Probably won't do anything like this ever again. But I've been educated. I don't think you have. Maybe I've learned something, maybe I haven't. What do you think? Let us know. Like, subscribe, comment below. What do you think about scale? What do you do with your toys when, when you play with them and display them? How do you feel about scale? Do you like having, do you, do you find it more fun to have two guys of the same size fighting each other? Or do you think it'd be cooler to have a tiny Hulk fighting a giant Thor? What do you go with? Well, you know, let us know. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy is is always the best thing. We love everybody who watches. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Follow me on Twitter at Scabs. You can follow Mr. Berg on Twitter at Raggy Foe Smasher. You can follow us on the Twitter, the the whole Shockin' Odd deal uh, at Shockin' Odd Toys. Toys. And we got the Facebook page, Shockin' Odd Toy Reviews. Please reach out. Social media, it's great. We love talking to you whenever, for wherever we can. For the love of can. God, yell at us for this episode. Yeah, yell at us for this episode. Hey, even if you got something negative to say, let us know. Triple dog dare you. <laughs> let us know. You can't say anything uh, worse about us than what we've said about ourselves. So until, th until next time, have a good one. Thor's awesome. No. Because not only am I bigger than MP10... I'm f***ing the reason there's an MP10. <laughs>